Hey guys, it's Aurora. Uh, I just got the weirdest phone call. Um, <laughs> this really bored sounding guy uh, called me and was like, is this Celia de Blas? Celia is my first name. I haven't gone by my first name. I go by my middle name in uh, a couple of years. <laughs> and I was like, yes. And uh, he's like, I'm, um, I'm putting together the Elizabeth, what is it, the Elizabeth Taylor Breast Cancer AIDS Research Red Carpet event in LA and San Francisco, and, uh, you know, we have a few spots left, would you like to be put on the list? And I was like, what? <laughs> Who are you? And, um, how did you get my name and number? Because obviously I don't know you, you're calling me Celia, right? Uh... So I'm like looking them up because he gave me their their email address and I'm looking them up and I'm still really confused as to how they found me and because he just said from a charity event and I was like, no, that's not true. And really if it's worth it for me to go to this thing, it probably isn't, but maybe it is. Maybe I'll meet some dashing people who will be helpful. I should say yes, right? What do you think? Okay, anyway, what I wanted to start out this blog about, um, you know, there's this, uh, oh man, <laughs> I, what's that quote? It's, uh, be beauty is wasted on the youth. I think that's how it goes. And one thing that I'm starting to really know and really appreciate is women who are in their 30s. <laughs> um, I think just uh, I'm starting to see how age and wisdom really creates grace and finesse that doesn't exist when you're younger and um, it's gorgeous it's freaking gorgeous uh, I guess more specifically if I go we had auditions last week and you know I was casting for somebody I think the call was for 20 to 25, but usually people, um, when, you, when you go in to audition for something, you're, a lot of people go in because they look younger. So you're getting a lot of 30-year-olds who look like they're 25. And then a lot of 25-year-olds who look like they're 20. So um, as I was reviewing audition tapes, uh, I realized... The artistry and the finesse and the togetherness that 30-year-old that women have. I just turned, well, I, I'm 31, and uh, I remember in my late 20s talking to, to women in their early 30s and them, them saying, you know, at 30, things just start falling into place. You stop caring what everybody else thinks and you start doing your own thing, and life just gets better. And I was banking on that so much um, in my late 20s. Uh, because it was, my late 20s were very difficult. And uh, now, being on the other side of that, um, I'm really understanding and seeing the kind of, like, growth spurts that you have in your 20s and, like, how dysfunctional they are and how, like, you overextend and overreach in one area or direction and then you pull back and you, you, you go the other direction and there's this, like, strange push and pull and, um, and you, you start figuring the balance out, you know, once you're in your 30s. And I so appreciate that. I so appreciate the things that, that our 30-year-old women were talking about and how they'd mastered themselves in some ways. You know, they're still young, but there's a certain kind of integrity, um, and it's gorgeous. I love 30-year-old women. What can I say? I don't know what that means other than I so totally, totally appreciate 30-year-old women. Uh, God damn it. They're beautiful. Um, anyway, not to say I don't, you know, what am I trying to say here? I'm just saying, like, there's awesomeness in 30, turning 30. So if you're one of those people who has issues about being 30, like not being in your 20s anymore, mm -mm, get over it. Because I'm starting to see the absolute 
sort of um, like my my jaw wants to drop at what what a integrated thirty year old women bring to the table. So I bow to you and to me. <laughs> <laughs>